Well, Derek, photographer Dave Satchel and I were riding with police when officers received a report of teenage drinking inside a Bethesda home. And as you're about to see, after word of this party spread on Facebook, within hours it had spiraled out of control. And we took off. Go! When we arrive with police, teenagers scatter, running from all sides of the house Hold up. and bounding down the stairs of a balcony. Oh my God. Hey, everybody, hey. pay attention. Is everybody clear now? Yes. Does everybody understand what happens when you run from me or any other house? Yes. Yes. Stay down. Relax. You get up again, I'm going to put you down again. What appears to be blood on the stairs is actually a crushed pomegranate. But teenage girls with mini skirts and mascara stained faces start to cry and scream. Hey! Everybody chill out. Everybody shut up. If I tell you to call your mom or dad, you're going to call your mom and dad. This is what an underage party looks like. It happened in Bethesda. Back inside, let's go. And involved students from Walt Whitman High School. But it could have unraveled in any suburban neighborhood where an unsuspecting parent is out of town or simply leaves an empty house and an unsupervised teenager. You know how many other crimes are occurring right now in the county, in this area, that we could be dealing with? And yet we're dealing with 70, 80, 90 juveniles who decided to get high and drink. Police handcuffed teens that attempted to flee and line them up at the curb. Some are belligerent, combative. I have a juvenile. Their venom in some cases directed at us. What'd you say? I asked you to get the off. Stand up. Without my permission. Stand up. Now you got to charge, my friend. Let's go. A defiant teenage girl criticizes police for sending so many officers to respond to an underage party. So when your house is being broken in a couple weeks, you can blame it on an underage drinking party and so why police officers aren't there as quick as you'd like them to be. Are you Walt Whitman too? Yes. The smell of marijuana fills the air. Roughly 80 teenagers left the house in shambles. It looked like it was ransacked. Police issued 35 alcohol citations. Empty liquor bottles, uh, beer cans. Uh, we found some drug paraphernalia in there. You're not going to be publicly displayed. Most of the partygoers are 16 years old, five years from the legal age. All right, do you have the ability to put it into a GPS to get here to take custody of your daughter? This is my second one. Okay. A night of chaos gets more interesting when parents come to pick up their children. A few simply hug their sobbing daughters, but many more mouth off at police, threaten lawsuits, and question that their children were doing anything illegal. Uh, she came to this party here and she was drinking. Okay, you guys saw her drinking? <laughs> no, but it's on the breath. She took a preliminary breath test and she blew 0.019. Okay. All right. She's got alcohol in her system. She admitted to it. There's also drugs inside the house. Some children refuse to reveal their identities. We have to notify your parents and you can't yourself. tell us who you are. Many parents arrive angry and disgusted, not at their intoxicated children, I I'm so sorry. but at police and on this night at us. Why is there a camera not filming this? Because they're with us. I was told they were with the news. They are we with are, the news, they're with, with us. News. Only one mother appears furious at her son. You cannot do what these children do. You understand that? She makes him apologize to every police officer on the scene. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. You're welcome. One parent asked me if this bust was a joke. At another party, a father asked his child right in front of police, why didn't you run?